So, we're over halfway through May. We've asked you to move. Are you moving? Are you getting outside, getting some oxygen pumping through your body? I hope so because it's good for you. It increases your energy, it increases your vitality, and it's a big part of cracking the energy code, getting you back to the energy levels you wanted from back in your day. Now, I want to say this. I've seen a guy out there recently saying that aerobic exercise, cardio is bad for you because it raises your cortisol. Well, like most things, this is partly true, but mostly wrong. And then he explained quickly. After a run, after a workout, yeah, your cortisol goes up. It's your body's way of dealing with stress. But the long-term studies of people who exercise on a regular basis, their cortisol goes down. Their endorphins go up, their stress levels improve, their oxygenation improves. Now, if cortisol is a big concern for you, there's lots of supplements and herbs that can help with your cortisol management. Ashwagandha, rhodiola, phosphodiesel serine, these are some things that can naturally lower your cortisol if you're concerned. But long-term, regular exercise, aerobic exercise will lower your cortisol and make you a lot healthier. So get out there, move, lower your cortisol, and be healthy.